Callisto was such a strong character, and she was a recurring villain. And often in uh, these television shows, you have the villain, and they're one-dimensional. With, again, Callisto, there was this development, this growth. You just trust me. You're gonna love it. Well, at least half of it. Oh, goody. It's funny that I keep this thing around. I don't really need it. It's just for decoration and for fun. I don't know if I'm toying with you or you're toying with me. She's one of the more, more intelligent characters on the show. And I was wondering, did you have any, did you work that in or did that help you in your interpretation. I'm not. She had her weak points like rocks falling on her head. <laughs> so I don't know how intelligent she truly was in all realms. She certainly was very manipulative. Yeah. And she knew how to scheme to figure out what she wanted and how to get what she wanted. But clearly, I mean, she's a god. If she was truly a god, and Xena's a human being, the show would be over. Yes. So she's not a terribly intelligent god in a lot of ways. You should have kept running. I couldn't use my powers in there, but out here, well, can you say nighty night? What do you feel you brought to the character of Callisto in Sacrifice? Callisto, she is the same old character, as always. Um, but she did have a beautiful moment when she got the opportunity to have her desire fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And that was fun to play. Yeah. yeah. I remember that day very well, actually. If you could share it with us? Sure. My take on it is Callisto never wanted to stay alive. So how about it? I scratch your back, you stab mine. What's the matter? Existence getting to be a bit of a burden. Yes, honestly. I yearn for oblivion, annihilation. Peace, if you will. She always wanted oblivion through sacrifice both sacrifices. She just wanted to die. That's it. Over. Game over. Nothing. Um, there was joy in seeing Gabrielle go over the edge, as it would be, because, you know, Gabrielle is so sweet and kind and simpering, and what could be better than her kind of, like, dropping off? So I think that she did. While um, she went over the edge, it was enjoyable, but I think that she was also cunning enough to know that that might be her last card to play right, her last with Xena. Opportunity. Yeah, I mean, she didn't plan that because she, she didn't know that right. she was going over the edge. But certainly, mm -hmm. if she really didn't want to die mm -hmm. with Xena and the Heinz blood, she, I think she could have avoided it. So the way I see it is, yes, it just came together quite nicely. Did you have limits where you would uh, make Callisto you know, where you would stop pushing the envelope with her? I would, I, again, I would play it by ear when I would read it and see it and feel it. I don't remember having a lot of, um, which was really nice actually, the directors would leave me alone. Really, they, they didn't guide me very much. Right, they trusted your interpretation of the character. Yeah, because also we always had new directors coming in, so they didn't know the character like I would know the character. Um, so they would, they would pretty much let me go, and even when we were sitting at the round table in the beginning reading the script once through before we shot it, we were able to add lines or take away lines that we didn't feel were quite right. Um, and I thought that Callisto, yes, I don't feel like she was a one-dimensional character at all. I mean, I really enjoyed playing. I'm a god now, Dina. Welcome to my world. Now get ready to leave it. Give me your best shot. Oh, clever, clever girl. You want me to use my powers in here so all these stupid rocks come tumbling down on me? You're a god who won't kill you. No, 
won't kill me, but it will keep me locked up long enough for you to get to my precious little baby. Oh well, back to basics. Looking back on it now, it was such a, a once-in-a-lifetime character to get to play. Yeah. It really was. Kevin Smith, uh, you worked with him quite a bit as Ares. Uh, he's no longer with us, sadly. And I was just wondering if you had any stories or insights or memories of Kevin. Uh, Kevin was, um, people always say this about people that are no longer here, mm -hmm. but it, it, it honestly is very true. He was, um, <laughs> he was an incredible man. I mean, not only was he physically stunning, which he was, I mean, that man was like, whoop, he was, he was very pretty. Um, he was incredibly kind never an attitude, which is a little odd for actors, because, you know, you know actors. <laughs> um, he, he was always busy, not just doing Xena stuff, like he was, he had his hands in everything. I mean, he was in a rock band, he was doing, I believe he was doing a radio show. Um, he was always involved in plays. He was just, he was filled with life, mm -hmm. and he was very kind to everyone. Never was he, never did I ever see him um, rude to anyone, ever. And he was fun to work with, because he always had like a playful sense to him. I want it now! Just like old times. When I killed Strife, that look in his eyes. Your next series. Enough! Early. You and I have unfinished business. Callisto, I will deal with you when I say, not before. The last time I saw him, we were at a convention together, and he was, it was right before he passed away where he was going to be doing the Bruce Willis movie, so he's getting, getting up at six in the morning every day, just eating protein. And for some reason, I saw him without a shirt. Oh, I know why. Because I made him put on my clothes. I was wearing a belly dancer outfit, and he agreed to put it on to auction it off, and so he didn't have a top on because he couldn't fit the top on. Oh, my goodness. Just... Beautiful. My, 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 my.